of the agar nasai cell the agar nasai cell or infundibular cells are the most consistent anterior ethmoidal cells they pneumatize the lacrimal bone and are juxtaposed against the heart nasal bones and as a rule they are always anterior to the attachment of the middle turbinate and have an important role in the pathogenesis of frontal recess obstruction endoscopically agar nasai cells appear as a mound or an eminence agar means a mound nasai in the nose and this appears on the lateral wall of the nose anterior to the origin of the middle turbinate that is the location of the agar which appears as a mound in the nose The prevalence of agar nasai is nearly 98.6% in recent radiological examinations. It is believed to originate from the infundibulum and from the first embryological frontal pit. The boundaries of the agar nasai are anteriorly the frontal fossa maxilla, posteriorly the infundibulum, superiorly the frontal sinus and its recess. Inframedially, the uncinate process, and laterally, the nasal and lacrimal bones. And therefore, the lacrimal sac lies just anterolateral to these cells. On sagittal dissection, the agar nasi cell may be seen anterosuperior to the middle turbinate and anterior to the uncinate process. The agar nasi again is a small ridge. on the lateral wall of the nasal cavity agar means mound nasi means nose and it is located midway at the anterior edge of the middle turbinate this is the location of the agar nasi directly above the atrium of the middle meatus agar nasi cell was first described by h meier it is the most anterior ethmoidal cells that is the agar nasi location dimensions of the agar nasi this shows the anterior posterior measurement the side to side measurement and the cranio caudal measurement of the agar nasi cell agar nasi cells are the most anterior ethmoidal cells located within or adjacent to the lacrimal bone and therefore have as lateral relations the orbit the lacrimal sac and the naso lacrimal duct that shows the agar nasi cell these are the frontal cells that is the frontal bullar cell the bulla ethmoidalis the suprabullar cell The agar nasi cell is classified as an extramural ethmoidal cell, and this is because it projects anterior to the ethmoidal bone. This cell frequently extends to the lacrimal bone and the frontal fossa maxilla. The ethmoidal infundibulum is bounded anteriorly by the agar nasi and the uncinate, and posteriorly by the ethmoidal bulla. The anterior and posterior walls constitute part of the frontal recess walls, endoscopically con- corresponding to a bulge in the nasal wall, anterior to the middle turbinate. The agar nasi cells are best visualized on sagittal and coronal images. Cell, and this is the axial view of the agar nasi cell. This is a diagram showing a removal of the agar nasi cell dome with a curved curet in order to expose the ostium of the frontal sinus. The angled curet was put forward towards the posterior superior side of the agar nasi. It is then removed while pulling in an antero inferior direction. That is how the dome of the agar nasi is removed. This shows the coronal section of a cadaver at the level of the agar nasi cell. 
Any disease in Egonet's eye can also easily extend to the adjacent lacrimal sac, causing thereby epiphora or other inflammatory conditions of the lacrimal system. In cases of chronic dacrocystitis, not responding to medical management, agonizer cells should be assessed for primary pathology. The agonizer cell can cause problems even if removed during ethmoidectomy. If a remnant of the cell wall is left during surgery, it may cause stenosis by adhering to the posterior wall or roof of the frontal recess or to the middle turbinate. Hence, to prevent such problems, agonizer should be removed totally and carefully during intranasal ethmoidectomy. Variations of the agonizer that shows a single large agonizer cell. This shows bilateral agonizer cells with a pathology on the left side of a mucosal hypertrophy within the agonizer. This shows unilateral agonizer cell pathology with right sided frontal sinus disease. That shows bilateral agonizer cells pathology. This shows multiple agonizer cells. And here there is the agonizer with lacrimal bone dehiscence and a mucosine. Thanks to Dr. N. B. Prahlad for the rich resources he has so kindly provided. Dr. Prahlad is the owner of the Karnataka ENT Hospital and Research Center at Chitradurga.